There's a few things that you can be doing to prevent your shoes from wearing down faster. Stay tuned and I'll tell you exactly what those are. Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Trenton and Heath where we are talking about all things shoes. So we recently did a video where I told you uh, the three places on the bottom of your shoe that you need to be looking in order to determine if it's time to bring your shoes in for repair. I'll put a link to that video up above. Check it out. It's going to help. It's very informative and it, again, it tells you the three areas that you need to be looking at on a regular basis. Now you may be asking yourself as well, okay, now what can I do to prevent those three places from wearing down fastest? And that's what we're going to talk about today. Well, there's simple steps, little easy things that you can do uh, to really prevent your shoes from having to come in for repair at a much quicker rate and having to spend as much money at the shoe cobbler as, as you would normally have to do. So I want to talk about the three areas again that I discussed last week and, and the should I say the three things that you can do to prevent those three areas from wearing down the fastest. So again the toe area was the the first area to look at. Now I've got an Allen Edmonds here that this gentleman recently brought in. It's a brand new pair of Allen Edmonds. And again, now this is the type of customer that, that I'm referring to. He believes in preventive maintenance. He wants to make sure that his Allen Edmonds are well taken care of and that they don't wear down too quickly. So what he did was he brought these in to have sole protectors put on. And that's what we're gonna talk about first. So this, the area down in here, again, the sole, the ball of the foot area, tends to wear down very quickly. And one thing that you can do to prevent that from wearing down is to put on sole savers. Uh, sole savers, sole protectors, they have different names, but what it basically is is a piece of rubber, such as this, that goes on to the bottom of your shoe. And not only does it prevent your shoe from wearing down quicker, but it does a couple of other things. It also provides better traction. So again, going back to this shoe, I'm a guy, I love leather bottom shoes. I'm just a traditionalist, I think it looks great. But I'll be the first to admit that it can be a little slick. Uh, they absorb, they can absorb water a little quicker than like what rubber would. So putting a sole protector such as this one on the bottom of this shoe is going to not only pr protect the, the sole from absorbing water, uh, wearing down faster, but it's also going to have a little grip on there that's going to prevent you from slipping and sliding and, and whatnot. Now, there's different brands that these sole savers or sole protectors come in. Uh, this is a Goodyear. We use a lot of these. Uh, this is a Vibram rubber. Uh, there's, there's other brands out there that if you read the, the shoe blogs, everyone's got their own you know, brand they throw around. But as a whole, these things hold up very well, no matter the brand. Uh, now, if you get you know, very generic brands, they can wear down faster, but if it's a good reputable brand name on there, it'll hold up quite well. But anyways, that's a very good start to anyone that says, well, I don't, I like leather, but I want rubber because I'm afraid I'm gonna slip or I'm, it's gonna not gonna hold up as well as rubber. Soul savers, that's a, a great option, again, for those people like me that love leather, but that want to have a little more grip, a little bit more protection than maybe what the leather gives. The second place to look is again the toe area. Now the toe area wears down very quickly. And another thing you can do to prevent the toe area from wearing down are these things here, which are little toe guards. Now you have metal ones like this, and you have hard rubber ones like this. Now the hard rubber ones when you put those on, they go on easier <clears throat> because like this one here is self-adhesive. You just simply peel off the backing of it and you would simply pull off the adhesive, stick it on, and you take a few little tacks and you tack it in and it's on there. Now the advantage to having the hard plastic over say the metal ones is the hard plastic ones come off much easier. So when you take your, when you wear through the hard plastic, you can bring it back to your cobbler. He can simply just take some pliers and he pulls this whole thing off. No harm, no foul, didn't do anything to your shoe. And you can just simply replace these again. Now they do wear down faster than say the metal ones here. But the metal ones, they, they do last longer, but the only thing about the metal ones is the, the cobbler will often have times have to cut this leather portion away here 
put the metal toe tap on there and then put screws down in there to really help hold this on. So these will last a lot longer than the hard plastic ones, but these, once you, once these come off, that leather has been cut away on the toe. But again, either of them, it's personal preference. Uh, there's some people that, that come into our shop, they want the metal, other people want the hard plastic. Um, again, those are just two options you have to prevent the toe area from your leather shoes wearing down fastest. <clears throat> and the last area, again, is the heel pad or the top lift area. Now this is gonna be the fastest part of your shoe to wear down. And the reason is because this is basically like the tire of your car. When you're walking all day, you're putting a lot of pressure on that heel pad or that top lift when you walk and then you push off. And again, the toe area and the heel wear down very quickly because of that. You're, you know, again, you're pushing or you're landing here and you're pushing off here. These are very, these are, top lifts aren't very much to replace. You know, on average, they can range between 20 and $35, just depending on where you're at in the country. So it's not expensive to replace, but it's one of those things that, you know, a lot of guys are like, hey man, I don't want to keep paying $30 as fast as these things can wear down. So again, what you can do, these same little toe pieces, or these little um, uh, hard plastic pieces that, that you can put up on the toe area, can also be put down here on the top lift. So it'd go right down there like that, stick on, again, you put the, the tacks in there and it's now held on really well. And you're putting, when you're walking now, you're wearing this down as opposed to the top lift here. So again, those are just three things that come to mind when customers come in and ask us what they can be doing to their shoes. Uh, again, just as kind of preventive maintenance to prevent their shoes from wearing down fastest. Um, other than those three, when it comes to your uppers, again, you just want to make sure that, if, especially if you have a great uh, leather upper, you want to make sure that you're conditioning those shoes very well, that you're keeping them polished, and really, you know, keeping the upkeep of the leather up here on the uppers. If you do that, if you put on the toe taps, sole protectors here, you have a shoe that's going to last you a long, long time. Uh, because again, once those things start wearing down, it's as simple as taking it back to your shoe cobbler. They can pull those taps off, put some new ones on, pull the sole protector off, put another one on, and, and those, heel, those top lifts and that leather sole that you got on the shoe from the factory has barely has a scratch on it. So again, I hope that helped. Just a few preventive maintenance ideas to help your shoes last longer. Uh, again, thanks again for joining us. If you like what you're seeing, please hit the subscribe button below. Please hit that little bell button so that you are notified when our videos come out. And again, leave us a message if you, down below if you have any questions at all. We're always here to help. Uh, it's what we do for a living and we just enjoy getting this, this knowledge out to each of you so that you can take care of your shoes better. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.